guys. It's Ice in here, and guess where I'm not? In my car. Yeah, I'm sitting out on my porch at the moment. It's kind of late, almost 10. And um, I really felt like making one of these. I, I was I tried to do one earlier, but my phone jacked up, and I, you know I didn't want to fight with it, so I decided not to. But I'm gonna start it out with an AMA question. We've got from Zay Sapper. What inspired you to start making videos slash streaming? And I was really excited to answer this question, actually, because it made me think back to the whole process. And a lot of people don't realize that I was a streamer before I was a YouTuber. Um, I started streaming. Basically, a buddy of mine and I, we decided, hey, you know, we should do, we should make YouTube videos when we get our new computers, because we're both looking to get new computers. And, um... Then once we got the computers, he wasn't that interested, so I was like, oof. And I was really uncomfortable with the concept of just talking with no one there. It's, it's a skill you have to gain, and I wasn't comfortable with it yet. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try streaming. I'm gonna, I had recently discovered Twitch, I was like, I'm, and so I started streaming, because that way at least I'd have you know, my, my um, chat to talk to. And that was really cool, and that really prepared me for YouTube. It got me good at talking to no one, or talking to, not no one, but no one that's responding directly. Um, and then my wife at the time, and I started having some issues in our marriage, and I thought that taking less time would uh, with streaming would help, so I cut back on the streaming, but I really still wanted to produce content because it was so much fun, and so I started doing YouTube, and my first YouTube stuff was just clips from my stream put onto my YouTube. And then I started really enjoying the process of YouTube, and the thing that was nice about it, as opposed to streaming, and I love streaming, I absolutely adore streaming, it's super fun, but the thing that I really liked about YouTube videos is, you know, if I've got a day, and I'm like, okay, well I want to clean my house today, but I also want to get some content produced, I want to work on some stuff, I can be like, okay, well, I'm recording for an hour, and then I take a you know, half hour break, hour break, do some cleaning, you know, stuff I need to do around the house, then go back, record for another hour, and with streaming, that doesn't work, you can't stream for an hour, take an hour break, stream for another hour, it just, it, it's not how it's done, so I really do love YouTube, and I love streaming, I want to, I want to continue doing both, um, I've been streaming more often lately, just because it's really fun, really, really enjoying getting back into it, and the reason I'm squinting a little is it's dark out here, and my phone has this record light, and God, it's bright, so I'm not looking directly at the camera, because it's, it's painful to do so, <laughs> but um, a big reason I continued streaming and doing YouTube is, you know, for those who don't know already, I have schizotypal personality disorder, or schizotypal disorder, and one of the components of that is a mood disorder. For me, it's bipolar. I get, you know, these manias, and I get these depressions. So, what I found is Icy New Year isn't exactly who I am in real life. It's similar. It's basically me when I'm on a slight mania. Um, it's, you know, I'm more upbeat, I have more energy, I have trouble sleeping. You know, not like, oh my god, call the doctors, get to a hospital manias, but like, just, just a little bit up. And that's kind of what Icy New Year is, it's that state. And I got so used to being able to slip into that character at any time, that I'd find that when I'd get depressed, I'd be like, you know what, I'm in a depressed state, let's go record some videos, let's be Icy New Year. And it really helped me get through my depression, because I mean, I got so good at slipping into that character... Is that whole, like, almost fake it till you make it thing? Which I feel dirty saying that, but it's true. So, like, I'd just be Icy New Year, and I'd finish recording, and then I'd just be a bit more upbeat. And that really helped me through some depressions, and it's still a tactic I use today. I get depressed, I start being very productive, because I don't want to feel that way. And... You know, I still feel a little down. I mean, it is a chemical imbalance that's causing it. But being productive and putting myself in that mindset really, really helps. So, that was a big part of what, like, made me continue to do the whole, you know, continue streaming and 
video and then eventually decide this is what I want to do with my life. This is what I want my career to be. But um, Zisapper, thank you so much for that question. If you guys are interested, put a question down below. Um, and if you check the description of this video, and I'm going to put it in the playlist description, um, I've set up a Evernote notebook so that you can look at the questions I've picked out. I'm like, okay, I'm going to answer these questions. And I put them in a notebook, and I just choose from whatever I feel like answering when I do one of these. But I've been, I'm have been i going to be moving them into a second notebook when I answer them, and I'm going to start adding the link to the video I answered them in, in case you guys are interested. Like, oh, well, I wanted to hear the answer to that question. Where is it? Um, that notebook might not be up when this video goes up, but if you keep an eye on the playlist description, it'll be there soon. Um, other than that, um, I want to talk about just these raw vlogs in general. I've really been enjoying them. I, I feel very connected to you guys, my audience, when I do this. It's really cool to be able to, like, you guys ask me a question. Here's my answer. Um, I really, really enjoy it. And you guys seem to be as well. Um, so I've decided next month, it, August, is my birthday month. I, uh, the 22nd is my birthday. And I've decided... For the month of August, I'm going to do a raw vlog every single day. I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be super fun. And how you guys can help me is ask me a question. Go to the newest one in the playlist, ask a question. Because um, it's really cool to be able to like, start off by like, okay, well, what do I want to vlog about today? And sometimes I get ideas in my head, sometimes I don't, so I'll just pick a question, answer it, and that tends to lead into other things. So the questions are awesome. I love answering them. Please keep them coming. Um, just put them in the comments for the newest video. And I'll just grab any that get a lot of thumbs. I'll definitely do. And then I'll just grab ones I really want to answer as well. So there's that. Um, podcast news. I've been working on recording a bunch of stuff for the podcast. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So what I'm leaning towards is probably 30 to 45 minutes bi-weekly, so every other week. Uh, weekly is just, I can't promise that. I mean, I have so much other content I produce that saying it's going to be weekly is setting myself up for failure. So bi-weekly I can do, and it's probably going to range 30 to 45 minutes on average. And what I've found is I'm kind of mixing like serious talk with just some really fun segments. I've just been recording various segments, and honestly, I feel like 50 to 75% of what I've recorded so far, I'm just going to end up trashing, but I've just been like, you know, I get a random idea for a segment, I like, section, and I'm like, okay, let's, let's record it, and just see how it works, you know, see if it's fun, you know, see if I like it, and I'm playing around with various, like, recurring, possible recurring segments, just to see what I like, what I don't, and then I'm going to work on putting it all together and just you know, I'm going to work till I feel comfortable starting the podcast. Um, so no ETA on that. Um, I'm just playing around, trying to get the format right. I have a couple ideas on hosting, but if you guys have ideas, I'd still love to see them. Um, Podbean, I don't know if it's going to work for me. Someone had suggested that. I can't remember who. Um, but I have a couple people I can talk to that might be able to help me out. So, yeah. So that's kind of all the internet stuff. Um, real life stuff. B is in the hospital. It's nothing super serious. She was feeling real sick. Um, I took her to the ER. They thought it was pancreatitis or panc pancreas stuff. I don't remember what it's Pancreatitis, I think. But it turns out it's not that. So they think there's something going on with her gallbladder. She's spending the night for observation. They're thinking they're going to have to do surgery on her gallbladder. They just don't know if they should do it right away or wait and do it outpatient. So she's in there overnight for observation. So it's going to be really, it's really quiet in the house. The goblin child's asleep. And, um, B's not here. So, man, it's weird. We're normally, like, cuddled up in bed watching Supernatural right now. Oh, it's weird. It's odd how, like, used you get to, used to people in the house you get to. Actually, that brings up another question real quick. I'm going to read this one. Uh, from Timo Major, Mayor? Mayor? Mayor, I think. 
Uh, looking forward to more board game stuff. Also, who is Goblin Child, and is that her real name? As for my name, I don't know of any English words that sound similar, but Google does it reasonably. And I talked to him and ended up uh, getting him to record it on uh, vukaroo.com. And it's, as my stupid American mouth pronounces it, it's very similar to Mayor. 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 Mayor? Mayor? I don't know, some around there. Um, but uh, Goblin Child is my affectionate nickname for uh, Bee's Child. Uh, she's become a huge part of my life. Um, she's three, well, three and a half going on four, um, years old, uh, and she's autistic, but mildly, I mean, most people that meet her just can't even tell anymore. And it's crazy. She, they've been living here about a year and just seeing the improvement in her life. I mean, her communication skills, her coping skills, it's been a hell of an experience. It's been super cool, and I've never been so proud of things as little things like I potty trained her. That was me. You know, I was babysitting her for the longest time, so I was spending a huge amount of time with her, and I, was, I, po I potty trained that girl. And that's awesome. Uh, Goblin Child isn't her real name, but that's what I like to call her. So, hey, we had a double question on that one. Cool, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this one up now. Um, but yeah, so podcast every day next, or podcast, a raw vlog every day next month. I'm super excited about that. Help me keep my steam going. Put the questions down, even if, you know, you don't have some groundbreaking, earth-shattering question. Throw a question down, anything you're curious about, because they really do jog my brain and get me started thinking about a lot of different topics that are really cool. I mean... You can go with real my real life, my YouTube channel, my streaming, the podcast, my my illness, anything you want to go with. It's all fair game. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys, as always, for all your support. Um, and, as always, have a great one.